Hey guys, this is Jerry Visca, the author of the new book, I Don't Know What the Hell I'm Doing. I'm so excited about sharing with you, just being real about the energy of this book. This is my 13th book, and it's probably the most exciting thing that I've ever had to put together. And I'm, I'm just, I wanna share with you the nine insights that really make up the energy of this book. Here's the thing, so many of us are, we're raised thinking we need to know everything, we need to know the how before we even start something, before we even take a leap into our life. And I, I've come to the realization after you know many, many years of really creating my desired life that you don't need to know what the hell you're doing, but you do need to know why. And that's why I'm excited about sharing with you the insights into this book. Tip number one is we start off with what the hell do you want and so many people that I meet there's this fear of asking themselves what do I want and the fear comes from not knowing the how not thinking that it's going to reveal itself or more importantly having to step into the what and people around you maybe being afraid that you've stepped into it and, and you're leaving them behind but it all starts with you none of the other insights that I'm sharing you can't really even ignite those until you decide with precision, with clarity, this is what I want. This is the, what I want to experience in my life. Here's the thing. So many of us, you know, we only have maybe 40 summers left to experience. Think about that. You know, the average person, you know, has about 50, 60 summers in their lifetime. You know, 50, 60 sunsets. That's not a lot, you know. And, and I really want you to, to really focus on what you want to experience before you choke on a mint and you can't decide what you want anymore. And you know, most people have forgotten what they wanted years ago because there's this cloud of stuff around them, uh, ankle biters, a society, uh, your daily routines that have just kind of squashed and, and, and it's covering what you really want. So decide what you want most. This is your life, you're the architect, you're the maestro, only you can decide. Insight number two, we get into why the hell do you want it? And you know, really as a why guy, everything everything starts with why, everything continues with why. You know, I define why as the world helped by you. And the world's helped by you when you've decided what you want and more importantly, why you want it. So really focus on, you know, why are you here? Like we're, we're meant to do something, we're meant to, to be something, we're meant to, to, to make a mark on the world. And this insight, why is really igniting you know one of my uh, principles around be what you seek you know what is it that you're seeking but more importantly why are you seeking it and when you really start to delve into the why don't even worry about the who the what the where or the how focus on why you want it you know everything that I do around inspiration is always driven by wanting others to take action and, and create their life to get started you know I want to be that that fuel for you. It's like a rocket blasting out of the atmosphere. The toughest stage is, is getting out of the atmosphere. It's those big giant rockets that are uh, fuel tanks that eventually you know, the rocket releases and, and it's effortless at that point where you know a rocket just uses just a tiny little bit of, of fuel just to keep it going. So why drives everything? Insight number three, we get into who the hell do you want to be. And again, that, that's a, a segue from insight number two, be what you seek. You have to decide who you want to be, not what you want to do. That's the thing, you know, we're not born as human doings. You ever realize that we're born as human beings, but we really get defined by, by what we do, by titles, by ranks, by karate belts and the color of our karate belts, you know, promotions. Uh, square footage, and I get that all the time. Well, what's the square footage of your house? Who gives a rat's ass? I don't know what the hell I'm doing is about knowing who I want to be. Because when you start to decide what you want, why you want, who you want to be, you start to attract the how. And that ties into insight number four, which is the way. And the way becomes your path. And the path is through knowing why. So you've decided what you want, why you want it, who you want to be, the path starts to open up. And you're gonna fail and you gotta fail the most successful people in the world will tell you that to be successful double the rate of failure like you need to take action you need to uh, open up new doorways and that's not gonna happen if you're not taking action the how will never ever reveal itself in full 
vivid reality detail without taking action because then you start to readjust your target you start to refine what it is you're doing and if I go back to that rocket analogy you know over 90% of the time actually 98% of the time a rocket is actually off course constantly but it has this this built-in uh, gyroscope and, and a GPS system that that always uh, puts it back on tr on track and the equivalency to to humans, to our, to our way of getting ourselves back on track is always knowing why and always keeping that front and center. Insight number five, we get into believe. And you know, it's probably one of my favorite insights because it's the start of any kind of creation. You know, we're born as creators, but somewhere along the way, people tell you, you can't do it. Uh, you, you've never done it before. You're not smart enough. You don't have enough money. You know, you've never been there before. You don't speak that language. Like I could give you a thousand excuses and, and you've already seen them. You, you've been told no probably uh, 10,000 times before the time you reach the age of 11. So believing is about believing in yourself. It's about believing in something bigger, something deeper, and you don't need an external validation. Here's the thing, when you start to, you know, this, this insight in, in this part of the book is probably one of my favorites because it's really, allowing you to dive deep and say, you know what, I'm going to master my life. And I'm going to master my life by finally getting to the point where I don't need any external validation. You know, when you master that inside voice, when it's, when it's bigger, more profound than anything external, you've mastered your life. So we then move into simplify your life. And simplify is about deconstructing what no longer serves you getting rid of the ankle biters that no longer serve you, getting rid of the stuff and all the shit that doesn't serve you. Simplify your life so you can only focus on what you want to be, why you want to be it, what you want, the way, the path. When you start to deconstruct your life, you're going to realize that up to this point, you've made these choices every single day that have gotten you to where you are, unconsciously or consciously, and when you start to just simplify it, you know, it's like that rocket, those big tanks that first got you to where you need to be, okay, fall away. And you need to release the baggage. So I'm excited about Insight. Uh, uh, the Insight Simplify, it really helps uh, create what's most important to you. The next Insight, and it's the ultimate equation. It, you know, after thousands and thousands of talks, I've come to the realization of one simple equation, and it's called passion plus purpose equals outcome. And if you don't like the outcomes in your life, I want you to go back and look at your life. Are you living with passion? Like, are you living your passions? Are you fulfilling your dreams? Or are you just fulfilling someone else's dream? Passion is what gets you leaping out of bed. What brings you joy? You know, I can do this all day long. It's effortless for me. Purpose. How can I be of service to others? You know, when you start to look at contribution, you get out of yourself and realize that it's not about you. It's not about any of us. It's about lifting one another up, shining a new light on others. The ultimate equation you know, really gets into my purpose of inspiring a new ROI for the world. One where we reach out and inspire others. And then finally, outcome. So outcome, the, the end result of passion plus purpose. And it's not money. Outcome is what do I want to experience, what do I want others to experience. When I'm combining my passion and purpose, it's going to create an outcome for others. It's going to inspire them to action. It's going to help them innovate. It's going to help them create. It's going to help them uh, get healthier. Whatever that outcome is, is what's going to be your driver for not needing to know what the hell you're doing. Insight number eight is fail better. And again, the most successful people that just spend time with them, interview them, surround yourself with, with people. And here's the thing, you know, five people you're surrounding yourself with, you're going to become the sixth. You're going to become the sum of those people. So really look at your life and, and see the ones that are taking action, taking action, risking it all, right? Risking failure, risking ridicule, you know, risking being foolish. Because when you're failing, you're saying to the world, I believe in myself. I know what the hell I want. I know why I want it. I know who I want to be. And the way has been revealed and I believe in myself. I'm going to simplify my life so I can then live the ultimate equation, which is my passion, 
my purpose and I know what my outcomes are. So I'm gonna fail a few times and I'm gonna fail better and eventually I'm gonna fail my way to success. Last insight is share and tell. You know, when you were in kindergarten, you used to show and tell. I don't know about you, but I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to find that one juicy thing that I got to then share you know, my story, my passion, my enthusiasm for this, for this object, for this one thing. And share and tell is about go casting your net into the world and saying, hey, this is who I am. This is what I want and why I exist. And this is what I want to create in the world. And I want you to be a part of that. And if you don't want to be a part of it, that's okay. But i got to share and tell you because I'm freaking excited. So don't hold back. It's that the last insight really gets into how to take action. It sums everything up, um, how to move yourself forward. Uh, it gives you the uh, you know, my five killer Bs of just launching yourself out there, launching that rocket. And of course, you know, the energy of I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You know, it's an interesting book. It was a very challenging book to put together because I didn't want it to be a self-help book. It's actually an un-self-help book. You don't need this book. You don't need it because everything's inside you. But you do need a guide. And this book is filled with insights, uh, insights that I, you know, realizations that I've come to. Uh, it's not preachy. There, you know, there's areas where you gotta cut out things and paste it and just have fun with it. It's a fun way to live your life, to discover yourself, to rediscover yourself, to find out who you are. I'm so excited about this. Uh, I'm we're only releasing 500 copies at the start of the launch because we really want to work with people. And there's going to be coaching with the book and you know we want feedback. And we just we think we can change the world together. So you can grab a copy at jerryviscuit.com slash hell. Super excited. Thank you so much for supporting the vision of I don't know what the hell I'm doing.